Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome, welcome to another video with me and Lavinia Stamps. I've had a couple of months off through the summer and I'm delighted to be back. I'm super excited and I hope that you continue to join me. So today I've got this cute little card. Uh, you can put any sentiment you like on it. Keep smiling. I really rather liked that. We've got the gorgeous little Pippin in the Fantasia boat. And I've just created this halo around him of different foliage stamps. I am using some Distress Oxides to create the background there. I've got picked raspberry, peacock feathers, and together they make a sort of purpley colour. It's gorgeous. And then I've got mustard seed around the edge as well. To do my stamping, I'm using Cheerful. So that's with all my mini stars there I've got cheerful then I've got Chianti which I've done some of the berries on can you see all that then we've obviously got Nocturne for the silhouette stamping and then I've got my two favorite greens so if you watch me for a while you'll know that I just love 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 these we've got Verdant and Green Oasis now you can see there there's a bit of sparkle can you see that I've used glossy accents for the buttons. I've used stickles for the glistening on the water. And then I've got these super cute little sequin stars. So they come from this set. Oh my goodness, you'll find them on the embellishments part of the website. And of course, I had to have the blues because they're just gorgeous. There are lots of sequins, beads, different shapes in them so this is the christmas one we've got some little snowflakes and beads there's tiny little christmas trees there but i'm using the stars in that star set there are two sizes and i'm just using the smaller one to dot in and around the top here so we will get started i'm using three and a, 13 and a half centimeters by 13 and a half centimeters and in inches that's five and a half inches square so i'm going to take my multifarious cardstock i'm also using the circle masks and for that you get this up aperture and then i'm using the larger circle mask there I'm also going to use my favourite stencil brushes. I've got a quickie glue pen and I've got some colouring pencils, which is from Van Gogh set. These are lovely. They just glide along the page. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my oxides. And I'm not going to tape this down because we're going to be ever so quick. I'm just going to use my hand, actually my thumb, to hold it in place. So I'm going to centre this mask. And then I'm going to take, so I am going to use three of my stencil brushes in different colours. So I think that's six. Right. So we're going to start with the peacock feathers. Now what's really important here is, is that you take a decent amount of that ink off. And I'm going to start on the acetate so that I just get a tiny hint of the blue coming through until I get a sense of how dark it's going to be. And you can see I'm keeping this stencil brush moving in a circular motion. So there, you've got your first little bit of hue. I'm going to keep it, it's easy to put it back in the same place. Then I'm going to take my picked raspberry and do exactly the same. And then I'm going to go in with my mustard seed. Now I'm not going to go as dark with my second and third colours as I did with the peacock feathers. And then what I'm probably going to do after I've done the pink and the yellow, I'm probably going to go back in with my peacock feathers just to create a lovely depth in my colour. So 
So there you have it, and you can see how I went backwards and forwards with um, peacock feathers or mustard seed just to create a hue that you really like. And then the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to stamp my Fantasia onto the card. And then I'm going to work up the rest of it around it. I'm just using my stamping platform because I want to get it exactly positioned correctly. And I want to make sure that I get a nice crisp image. And there we have it. It's such a beautiful boat. Look, the delicate leaves. The markings on the boat, I just love it. So now I'm going to come back in with my large mask, but I'm going to clean it first because I don't want any of that colour on what I'm going to stamp. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put a little pippin in first. And to do this, I'm just going to tear a corner off my copy paper there. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a, what is that, a circle that way. I'm going to take my little Pippin with my Nocturne. And I'm just going to pop him inside the boat so that he's just looking at that beautiful little flower hanging down. I'm going to take this mask now. And now you can absolutely go to town with your foliage stamps. Any of them will do. I like to start first with my lighter green. This is Vedant. And I'm just going to stamp. Now, certainly the mask does create a bit of a ridge. But it's fine. Your stamping doesn't have to be crisp because we are going to make multiple layers there. So if I just pull this away, you can see some of that is not perfect and that's because of the ridge of the acetate. But it's really okay because we are going to put lots of fluffy little flowers. If I show you the original, you can see lots of fluffy little flowers around the edge of that halo. And just fill in some of that. So, as I said, I've had some time off these videos. I used to do them on a Monday, but going forward, I'm going to do it every other Saturday. So I do hope that you'll tune in. I do have my own YouTube channel, so if you want to catch me there, please feel free. I'd love to see you. So there we go. We've got those two in. Now I'm going to take... These are, that was from the swirl set and this one's one of the one pound stamps, the little berry set. I'm taking up Chianti and I'm just going to stamp this off first because it's quite a dark colour and I would just like a bit of a light berry popping out. So second generation here. Oops all around the edge. Then I'm going to take on the mini foliage set. So there's you get four little pieces of foliage um, in that set. And I'm just going to dot that in between some of the rest of the foliage. And then I'm going to go around with my miniature, my mini stars. Again, this is from the pound range. You will see me if you followed me for a while. I use it a huge amount. I love it. And I'm going to put that in cheerful all around the edge 
of the card. So you can see what that's done. Because you've got different textures here, it gives it such a lot of interest. You've got some of the more solid leaves here and then these lovely little dots on the edge of that flower. Now, before we put our miniature stars in, I'm just going to go in because it's quite stark, the white of this halo. So I just want to put a tiny bit of colour in it. So I'm going to use mustard seed but I'm literally going to use the tiniest bit. There we go. So, as I say, so it just doesn't land up too stark. And again, always moving it in a circular motion. If you want it a bit more pinky, then pop a bit of the picked raspberry in it. Then I'm gonna pick up my mini stars and dot it all around edge of the halo and in the center. Cheerful, here we go. I love it. You can see what a difference that mini star stamp made. Just creates a bit of magic um, around the edge. So now I'm gonna color in my boat and the leaves. And as I said, I'm using the Van Gogh pencils for that. With my leaves, I'm just going to use one. There, I think there are four greens in that set. I'm just going to quickly color the veins in. Now, you don't have to be an expert colorer here because Tracy's done all the work on these gorgeous stamps. So you can really, you can see how quick that was. And then I'm just going to use my finger and pull it down. Voila, how quick was that? And then with the boat, exactly the same. You want this shading. I'm going to use the lighter and the darker greens. And I'm just going to go here on the edge where the shading is darker. Mix it with a bit of a different green and the lighter green. So you can see I always like to use multiple colors. It gives you a depth and then I'm just pulling it. Can you see that? I'm pulling it from here all the way down. This one needs a bit more. And then just where there's shading, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of depth there. Now, if your favorite color was pinks or purples, then you just change the color of the boat. Easy as. Then I'm gonna use a pinky color, which goes with this Chianti. And I'm just going to color the inside of the buttons. Again, not coloring too carefully here because I'm going to rub it with my fingers to create a bit more softness and evenness. Voila! I might just go around the edge here to give it a bit of darkness. Voila! Look at that! That's so much fun. Now, I don't often use sentiments on my stamps, on my cards, but this one, I just thought, keep smiling. We all need to do that right now, don't we? <laughs> so here we go. I'm using Vedant. But again, if you preferred that lilac color, then go with that. I just... Think that with the amount of green in here, that green just grounds it really nicely at the bottom of the card. Then to finish it off, I've got my glossy accents to put in my buttons. And the glossy accents is a clear dimensional medium, which just gives a bit of shine, a bit of depth 
to those buttons and then I'm going to put some sparkle on the water and then of course I'm going to add my sparkly little stars from that set. I've picked out the tiny stars and I'm going to use my quickie glue pen to dot for the stars. So I do about three at a time. They are tiny and I'm just going to pick them up with my fingers. Some people have fancy pens that catch them, but I think that works really well with my fingers. So just do a couple at a time. And I'm putting them at different. So you see I went outside, in, further out, in. No science to it, just just to create a bit of variety here. And you can just pop the stars onto the glue in the, close by and then just push them onto the glue like that. So there you have it, the little Pippin smiling in the Fantasia boat with a bit of sparkle. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back again in a fortnight. Bye for now.